this particular crystal radio is called a 10 minute radio because it can be made and assembled within 10 minutes after finding various found objects from discarded technology. Material that you can use is, uh, is often to be found around you. What I'm holding here in my hand was once the internal parts of a regular radio and it was just dumped. I took out the parts that I knew would be useful to me. What I was left with was two things. This black uh, piece of metal is called a ferrite rod. It's a rod of metal that's very, very heavily treated with iron. So it's going to attract a lot of elect electrons. This plastic unit, which you, uh, you can see there's parts moving inside it as I'm turning the dial, that's, that is called a variable capacitor. In regular terms, it simply is the tuning device on radio. Connected to one terminal of the capacitor is the germanium diode, and then connected to the other terminal is a piece of copper wire. Now the ends of this copper wire I've stripped of the enamel, but the rest of the copper wire I've wound around the ferrite rod about 200 times. As you can see here, there are many, many winds. All of this wire is covered with enamel, but also to get further, shall we say, insurance against interference, I have put some sellotape. Once again, we have our earth connection, we have our antenna, we have our earpiece. One of the earpiece wires is going to be directly connected to the diode. It's important as well to find a good grip. We have uh, the earth that will, that will go to the piece of copper wire here. And then we have our antenna, which is very important. Now, as you can see, I'm touching the wires. And I'm getting, getting some types of radio signal. Now what I'm getting at the moment is what's known as white noise, static electricity in the air. But if I turn the tuning device, I'm going to see what I can find. Now because we're in a built up area, obviously the signal is very faint. This particular crystal radio is quite an experimental uh, one. Because you are using spare parts, and all of those spare parts come from different factories and are made to different templates, each result that you get from making a crystal radio from found radio parts is going to be very unpredictable, but in a good way. What we have now here is the antenna, or the aerial, is connected. It goes through that, and then it reaches this terminal on the capacitor, it is processed, the electrons are processed by the diode and they are brought in here. But in order to get a clear signal, we also need to draw away interference or uh, stuff that we just don't want, you know, so that the unwanted signals go down through here, this wire, and they go out and they connect to the grounding or the earthing as it's called. 